Now, this is the spoiler part of the uh, video. If you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, see what actually happened in the movie, you might want to leave. Because I usually write notes, but I don't think I need to write notes this time. So, boom, it starts off, bro, with this whole other family. So, you kind of know what's about to happen to the next family, but how it happened to the next family is definitely not how it happened to the first one. Or, because in the first one, because first of all, everything, the only thing that starts the possession, it's a demon possession, right? And what started the possession was literally an earthquake, bro. And it's crazy because the lady was so beautiful. Like, I ain't gonna lie, every woman in this movie was just fine as hell. But it started earthquake. Like, all right, the, the woman sent... I forgot her name, so we're going to call her Sarah. Sarah sent <laughs> the kids to go get some pizza to talk about her husband that left because he thought that child support was, uh, I guess, him co-parenting and he wanted to leave or whatever the case may have been. So, after the first couple, like, it started, okay, the movie starts off with this first couple and the sister is like, let me borrow your car before I have to deal with your meathead boyfriend, brainless boyfriend or something like that. So, boom. All right. The girl is laying down. Like, this is a whole nother couple. It starts off, like, with a whole nother family. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't even speak. But it starts off with a whole nother family. And, basically, her sister gets possessed, but she don't know. So, she reading a book, right? She reading a book, bruh. And as she's reading the book, her sister was laying down like she's sick. So she's like, bro, is you good? Or she come in there. Boom. She come in there. You know what I'm saying? She asked him if she used the car. And the sister then gets up and reads everything she's reading. She's not looking at the book, though. She, like, faces another. It's so... It's, it, I mean, that's why I say it's pleasing to the eye because it's kind of corny because you know it's really not real. But if, if, if you want to, if you're a person like me who lives in those movies, it's like when I go to the movies, I'll be trying to get away. So like she's reading everything that she's reading. So I was like, okay, that's, that was a loud part in the movie. I ain't gonna lie. So boom. All right. Next. She like, who, so who's the brainless, whatever now, you know what I'm saying? How she said the same insult she gave to her boyfriend or whatever. Ripped off the girl's scalp. Okay. It started off with a drone flying to her as she's sitting at the lake and like enjoying some peace. The boyfriend was flying a drone to her or whatever. The drone is still outside. The sister comes in and that's when they have that conversation. And that's when she rips off the girl's scout because after she was reading the book without even looking at it, she fell to the floor and started to seize up and started to like spit up some mucus, I guess. And the sister is being a good sister, checking up on her. And this demon is just so demonic. It just doesn't care about, like, family, bro. And it's just like... So anyway, boom, rips off her sister's scalp. The scalp, the sister, the scalpless sister <laughs> goes outside. I didn't even mean to say that, but anyway, it came to me. She goes outside, bro. And... She is basically kind of, like, looking for help from the boyfriend and the the girlfriend actually goes outside because he was actually she was like bro don't don't because the sister at, at, at first was like you know what i'm saying when it first started off because the drone you know the camera is the drone and the camera actually flies into the sister or whatever when it first was start you know say so you gotta keep up with me you gotta stay there you feel me now the same camera, you know, the, you know, they got to get the camera angle of the drone flying into the sister. He was like, oh, you're scared shitless. Then that's when the sister went inside and then got her scalp ripped off. So, boom, they come back outside. Her scalp is ripped off. She's looking for help. Okay. And, um, the girl, Sarah, not Sarah. This is not the mama. This is the first family. This ain't got nothing to do with the movie, honestly. I mean, with the, with the family. We just know that the girlfriend got possessed she's with her cousin they out having a fun time at a cabinet but her cousin is the third wheel you feel me so she was at the lake chilling wow but she come back to the house and find her cousin sick in the bed i hope you understand because i'm kind of confusing myself but i understand what i just said <laughs> okay so boom the girlfriend walks outside and the same drone that he was talking about because he was saying that hey even if the drone hits you, it's just gonna scar your face up real bad. The freaking girl went outside and put the drone, let the drone cut her. Like, I don't know how they did that, 
with all like the technology they have just made it look like the girl cut herself or whatever the case may have been bro she bashed the drone in her face bro fell in the water dude ran in after her she ripped the dude's head off bro and um and then rose out the water i wish i would have that bro i ain't gonna lie that was just a beautiful way to because you usually do ah, you, 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 you usually do not see the movie title appear like that bro and she rolls out of the water on some demon shit and the shit was just it looks okay i gotta start cussing but <laughs> stop cussing anyway so she rolls out of the water and then three red let three red words like popped up in the back of her or whatever the evil dead arrives or whatever the case may have been so the movie title popped up and i was like damn i should have got that because somebody was recording it and i was like freak i should have got that part because it would have been a great part but i think i'm gonna insert one of the parts right here that is pretty much already a preview it's pretty much already a preview where she like cooking the eggs so boom dropping the eggs in there right here okay now Let's get back to the story. Boom. All right. So now we come all the way to the actual family where she'd be like, mommy's with the maggots now. And, and you know what I'm saying? So her, that's the family we're talking about now. Her sister, it starts off with her sister. She's in the restaurant. She just found out she was pregnant. Okay. For some reason, she's flying to go visit her sister. And bro, like these people... I just noticed though, I don't think it was a black soul. I didn't see not one black person, not even to be that person, oh, there ain't no black people. It was literally no black people. It was probably, no bro, no. I'm not gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Cause even the dude, bro, it was no black people. And you know what, because black people would have been the first to go. I'm gonna just listen. It's been historically proven according to the movie Whatever, like you, like, bro, it's bro. Come on, bro. Stay with me, bro. I'm just saying, where was the black people at in Dead and Evil Dead Rise? Whatever that is called. Where was the black people? Black people actually exist. I'm, I'm trying to see why there were no black people in this movie. <laughs> to keep it 100, bro, there was no black people in this movie. So, anyway, all right. Because I'm finna go home, get dressed, I'm finna start jogging. Do my little job, finna turn up right quick. And it's, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be wanting a monster. But anyway, so, bruh, sister is pregnant. They found out the sister's pregnant. She finds out she's pregnant. She goes to visit her sister. And then like, the way, first of all, the baby had chopped off the doll's heads. And then the mother, Sarah, who the, Sarah is the one, the one, when I say Sarah, I'm talking about the one who turns into the monster. It'd be like, mommy's with the maggots now or whatever. So boom, boom, boom. She cuts off the head and she puts it. <laughs> she used to call the doll Daphne and she puts the head on a spike. I don't know where she gets this spike from, but it ends up saving her life later on. And she calls it Stephanie. Okay. So, like, I think it starts off with her and Dan is the boy, is the older brother. And I forgot the other the, the sister's name. And she ended up turning, she ended up getting possessed too because the mother cut her and try, and kissed her. Like, let me make it better. Like, it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Because Sarah, the one who turns into the monster originally, she was so beautiful. Like, it started when, when, it, when it, okay, when the movie started, she was kind of like um, doing tattoos or whatever. So you can tell she was like with the tattoo gun and all that. And she was probably gonna give herself another tattoo. But um, anyway, they were talking about how they was, all right, so they sent the, the kids to go get pizza. Kids went to go get pizza so she can talk about her husband and how, you know, wife husband problems and stuff like that. Must be nice. Anyway, bruh, when I tell you, bruh, it get real, right? So it's an earthquake. An earthquake pop off, boom. So, earthquake pop off, boom. They done dropped the pizza and everything. It's a hole, and see, I don't know, because, bro, I love white people. I love, I love y'all. Oh my God. I, cause you already know I love my queens and my black people. I'm, come on, I'm all for it, bro. We was, <laughs> we was enslaved. We deserve reparations. I don't want to hear it. I mean, I want Bob McLeod hear it. Indians got reparations. The Chinese got reparations. People get reparations. 
And I feel like, and honestly, I think they say that if you're a direct descendant, but most of us, this is what I'm saying, they took our last names, bro. We don't even know who we're connected to, bro. Honestly, all we can do is go to Ancestry.com, and that can be set up to where everybody don't get reparations. Bro, I got brown skin, and hey, I might not, I just know, my, my pops and them, they, they dark. They are dark, like Africans. My brother and them, they Africans. Like, I don't know, we might be... It's, we got enough brown in us to be African Americans or African descendants, okay? So anyway, this is what I'm gonna say. Cause she was so damn beautiful. She was so beautiful, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot why I was saying that, but I probably didn't need to say it. But this is what I'm gonna say. So boom. Oh, I see. I usually say we just gonna say Dan, the older brother. Literally, it was his fault, right? Because I'm gonna just say this. Out of me and Dan, Dan is is <laughs> mostly, and Dan is the older brother, right? This is her son. This is Sarah's son. Dan is the number one person, bro. He is the number one candidate of people who would, this, this dude. Okay, so after the earthquake, it's a hole in the ground. He goes to look at the hole. Ooh, let me be curious. What's this over here? And, uh, this pizza, and the pizza was still good. I ain't gonna lie. It was flipped all over. But shh, the baby girl was eating it. You know what I'm saying? The one that she was like, any, any, miny. No. Like the little girl, that little girl, you know what I'm saying? She used to eat a piece. I would have ate it too. So anyway, boom. The dude finds a hole in the parking lot ground. It's a hole. Okay, tell me why he feed him. Flash the light up in the this dude goes inside the hole. Who does that? I wouldn't have wrote that in the script, but I know that nine times out of ten, it would have been people who look like him to go inside that hole because a lot of people that look like me <laughs> and i'm talking about you know bandana around the neck <laughs> you know fresh dressed up uh -huh, with the jacket on <laughs> we all know what i'm talking about <laughs> okay i'm just saying mustache that no people like that okay i'm just saying <laughs> we not finna go in no hole after no earthquake after no deep dark hole at the with a flat we not doing it so it's a vault in there i say okay he kind of smart because I definitely would have been trying to see if it was some old ancient dollars. Why is it okay? It's a bank under the, the, the house in which we live. It's time to tee up. Maybe it's some money. Money. So, okay. I said, all right, cool. He's kind of smart. He's kind of dumb for going in the hole. I wouldn't have went in the hole. But he kind of smart. We're going to give it to him. Boom. All right, bet. Cool. Cool beans. He goes in there. He finds this book. No, not only does he find the book, but the book is inside a coffin. The book is inside a tombstone. The book is inside a place where you're not really supposed to be putting your hands in. The book inside, first of all, it's covered up. It's wrapped up in a cloth. Inside the cloth, the cloth is moving. Okay, the cloth is moving. Like, it's stuff inside of it moving. Like, it was like snakes. And, or it was like, I said, I thought it was a hand initially. He opened up the cloth. It's roaches, bruh. Flying roaches. The roaches go crazy. They fly from the book. You know what I'm saying? They fly. The book is closed. It's locked. But it don't have a lock on it. It got teeth clenched together like long, like piranha teeth. They like clenched together like if I was to interlock my fingers, bro. So they're holding the book together, right? And he can't open the book. He so he brings it upstairs. His sister's like, bro, I she already on edge about the book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you tripping about this book, bro? Oh, boom! Of course it gotta be some type of. You feel me? So anyway, boom. He cuts his hand. The blood falls on the book, and the book eats the blood. Like it sinks into the covers, bro. You know what I'm saying? It sinks, it sinks into. Don't judge the book by the cover. You gotta judge this book, <laughs> okay? Because the book, <laughs> the book drunk the blood bro you feel me like hey, the blood just disappeared into the book okay you get it so then the teeth loosened up to where they knew okay it's time to open the book <laughs> and basically i don't think he's seen it no 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 no. somebody seen the book open up they having fun back there <sighs> one day one day i'm gonna have a house <laughs> you know what i'm saying we just gotta keep on you for me like comment and subscriptions <laughs> like, comment, and subscriptions, please. <laughs> Jesus, like, comment, and subscriptions, okay? And pretty soon, we're going to be having something to sell you people so you can show that you down 
with the Z. With the Z on the greatest thing we pray. And I just pray every... All right, so my headphones turned off, but you can still hear me. And anyway, so this is what we're going to say, because I don't know how much time I got. But, boom, teeth open up. All right, they get the book, right? You look inside the book, right? And it's a whole just demonic... Every picture is really like showing a person being eaten, a person in some type of distress. But you find out later in the movie, bro, that... Okay, boom. Not only does he find the book, though, I forgot to say that this dude finds two vinyls, bro. He finds two vinyls, bro. He put he plays the vinyls, right? So, boom, he plays the vinyls. The vinyl, so you got one vinyl that's like, uh, this is what happened, right? <laughs> this is what, okay, now he's talking to these people about the book, the book of the dead. One of the people in the, in the in, on the vinyl is like, look. It's called the Book of a Dead, <laughs> but see, they all in like medieval terms, so it's like they real old Caucasian people. I assume that's what they sound like because they were talking real proper and they was be they spoke like hither and thither, <laughs> not thither, hither and thither. You know what I'm saying? So he was just saying the book is called the Book of the Dead for for a reason, and he was telling him, but he was basically just trying to say, and see, I'm not trying to be racist because I really, I love, who I love white people, boy. Whew, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I can love Caucasian dissenting people. Okay, however you say it, bro. I love Latina. I love everybody. I in my in my like I used to scream everybody is beautiful in my high school and I was gonna sell shirts and and sweaters and, and, and jumpers and stuff like that, but just because of this is what I leave believe, I don't believe it should be any hate. So I'm just you know, cause just in case anybody cause people could people could take stuff wrong. And I'm like, bro, I can't like I don't know. I'm just not racist, bro. I love people. So anyway, when I say that they sounded like you know, they just sounded like they were really old and this was in another time, but he had a picture and I think it was a black priest among them. So uh, one of them could be black. So it was two white priests and it was another third priest and they ended up explaining who they were later on. But anyway, so boom, he was just saying like, bro, we need to look at this book as a good book or something like that. And on the next one, bro, it was like the dude casted a spell, right? And, and like long story short, the dude casted a spell on the next vinyl. And when that boy, cause you know, them people who be really into that stuff. Cause I remember a girl did, she been now. Cause this girl was like Indian or something. She was like, I don't know, she was fine though. And I was trying to holler. And this girl did a spell on YouTube, right? And she was just like, and I didn't realize cause she ain't called it like a, she was, she looked like a real nice girl. But I didn't understand. I didn't know that she was doing witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Or. I think she called it magic or something. I don't know, okay? But till this day, I want to give this girl $200, right? Never did it. Never will do it. The Lord the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not give this girl $200. But she, like, looked at the camera, and she was like, she was like, give me $200 or some shit. I don't know, bro. She, but so anyway, it was just like that, right? So the dude said his spell. As soon as he said his spell, dog, mama went. Okay, so the lights was off, you feel me? Earthquake just happened. Oh, so the mama, Sarah, the one who turned into the monster, she just told her children, hey, don't use the elevator after an earthquake. We're not supposed to do that. She just told her children that she hops on the elevator. She looks at the exit door and was like, nah, I'm not going to take the stairs. Let me go and take the elevator. So she takes the elevator. And then literally one of the pictures shows this woman like, and you know, they always try to like, you know, uh, as above, so below. You know what I'm saying? They always like, if you ever see a, a two fingers pointing up, two fingers pointing down. I watched Hellsing Abridged, right? It's this other cartoon, and I love, I, well, I ain't gonna say I loved it, because it was very demonic, and I don't really like demonic stuff, because I grew up, you feel me? Because I feel like Christians are the crip. And you know what? Countries, religions, they are gangs. That's why I don't be listening to preachers and people, because it's like, bro, I don't see God. I just see y'all going crazy if i just be like bro i don't really i don't like i don't even believe that god really real like that like like first of all jesus was never a christian boy let me say something like that bro i'm finna get stoned you know what I mean? so it's like ah damn but anyway so i try to avoid that because that'd be worse because it's like jesus was about love he didn't care what people he was all about love so it's like are we more about love and I met a girl who had the upside down cross, and I don't even think, but see, they was upside down crossing it though. Like you could tell, like it was some, you know what I'm saying? Like at moments when it started off with the sister, because the sister, you know, had her own business. So she told everybody, she was like, she told somebody who knocked on the window, I mean, who knocked on the door or the stall, 
no, the door of the bathroom. She told them the men their stations. And before that, they kind of showed, maybe I was, I don't know, it could have been another movie. But anyway, because they did show a lot of crucifixions. But when the dude, when the boy was in the vault, looking at the book, he wasn't looking through the book yet, but he stole the vinyls. He heard something creaking and stuff, and then this cross fell with Jesus. That's what you, I think that's what you see on the preview. The cross fell with Jesus on the cross. It was like a statue, you know what I'm saying? And it fell towards him. And that's what I never got. I'm like, bro, why do we, Jesus, Jesus got beat so bad, dog. R.I.P. Jesus, bro. No disrespect to Jesus, bro. I was born a Christian, but some of the Bible seems weird. I just <laughs> been watching Bumble Clod. I want to say that. I'm going to just say that. Like, it just even a little weird. <laughs> and then it's like, Jesus got, she got beat so bad that that had to be the sacrifice. To them people, that's the sacrifice. <laughs> that is the, because that boy, hey, he done went through too much for us not to, he had to be the sacrifice for all our sins, which is, I kind of don't get it, because if I'm God, but I see, and that's why I'm not God, God knew not to give me that, uh, that place in life, because, uh, listen, I'm not finna sacrifice my son for some stuff I can do already, it ain't like Jesus, I don't even know, but seeing this, it's confusing, I am confused, son, because they say Jesus is God, and God is Jesus, but Jesus is the son of God, at the same, I don't get it. So, <coughs> Lord. All right. So anyway, okay. Whew. Lord have mercy. Speak, son. Speak. All right. Okay. So boom. He bring. Okay. So he uh, he brought it up. Listen to the two vinyls. The, they spoke. Soon as they spoke, the spell. The girl got hung up like in the elevator, like. And it's like the camera rushes in, you know, it's, you know, it's like, it's like the spirit kind of took over her, you know what I'm saying? It's a demonic spirit, though. The evil dead inside is the demonic spirit, if you ain't know. But, <clears throat> the pictures basically show, oh, now that I'm thinking back, it shows, like, the levels to this shit. Like, <laughs> like, people, it shows somebody, like, bleeding out their mouth and a whole bunch of maggots, like, falling out their mouth. But it was really, like, in the book... In the book, it was it was like worms coming out of the mouth. It was like the, the snakes on Medusa's head coming out their mouth, and then somebody bleeding out the eyes. But then you see like the girl, she get as soon as she got cut, and then the um, Sarah when she turned into a monster tried to kiss it or whatever. Boom, she started bleeding from the eyes, and then like eventually she turned into the monster. But anyway, let me let me back up. But when he speaks about it, uh, the thing rushes her in the elevator, and then like it basically she looks like the, she looks like the picture. <laughs> Boom, she looks like the picture, all right? So, she gets tied up in the elevator. So they like, where mom at? Everybody's asking where, where Sarah is or whatever. And boom, they see, she opens the door and that's when you see the moment where she's cooking the eggs and she's laughing. And like, that, it was just like, that's what, I just like, I don't know why. Cause you can tell they definitely just put this movie together. Uh. Uh, promote. I don't know. I just want to know who wrote it. I want to know who produced it. I want to know who put all this stuff together because it looks awesome, but it's definitely like a seven or eight, bro. Just the storyline. Like, it's definitely not. I don't know. When I'm in the movie theater, I want to be shook at this. So I'm going to be shook at this if, if anything happened. But I ain't going to lie. You had, you had this dude right next to me. He was sniffing weird because he didn't want to sniff loud. I'm already weird because, like, I come to the movies to have fun, bro. And he like, but I do think sometimes like, I'm like, damn, what if somebody, this is how somebody shot 14 people inside the movie theater. You feel me? Cause you go in these movie theaters, they don't have a metal detector. I probably wouldn't waste money on a metal detector either. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time anyway, so he was kind of scaring me cause he was moving too much. And I'm like, bro, I don't play games in the movie theater. I will move to another seat on you. And especially we watching a scary movie, it's up, it's up. It's up, I got the Glock effect. Okay, I got the Glock of this. All right, shout out to that boy Xavier TV. He ain't even know I started the Dasher talk. I started the Dasher talk because I was like on the dead Dashers, right? But I was talking about door dashers because people who door dash that's really a dangerous job, honestly. Because if people just say somebody could just say, "Hey, I want to murder somebody today," <laughs> let me murder the person who brings. Let me just bring a soul. So we can sacrifice this soul. Like, it'd be people like that. So, all right, so boom. Look at that. That's Jesus. 
Hopefully, I, I ain't do did something there. I hope y'all seen that. That was Jesus, though, man. R.I.P. Jesus on God. So, boom, all right, so, bam. So, she come in and start cooking the eggs, right? So, they, so she basically fall out because the, the demon really be taking over. But it take a minute, I guess. But she was talking. See, and this one I don't get it. Because when they first showed the demon take over somebody, the demon end up killing. Is that a woman? I think we need to walk that way. Oh, God. Sometimes, sometimes God show you where to go. But see, I be thinking that. And then I be like, oh, my wife. God just told me I'm going to find my wife today. And I don't find nothing. So that's just how. That's why I don't believe preachers and pastors and stuff. Because like. What's the point of you just saying, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, she ain't looking, she ain't looking. See, let me, that's why I'm starting to love myself. Hey, <laughs> just bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I, uh, I am, I am, listen, man. I was going to say what Kevin Gates used to call himself. You heard me? I'm mentally challenged. Let's put it that way. Mentally challenged. All right. So, boom. All right. All right, so anyway, boom. They try to put her in the in the in the tub, right? I guess the tub was cold. She start convulsing. She start having big seizures and stuff, right? And see, I the whole movie, I'm missing their mama, bro. Like I'm really missing their mama because their mama was so cool. She was beautiful. She was she was real. And then she got possessed. The sister was cute. This older sister was she old enough to be called cute? I don't know. She looked like it. If she was 18, she was cute. Okay, I wasn't attracted. This is that. But the mama, uh, uh, I want your mama. I want your mama. I want no drama. I want your mama. I want your mama. I don't want no drama. I want your mama. So anyway, all right, boom. So, so, so. All right, cause I'm trying. I'm trying to go ahead and just put everything in the mix. Where we at though? We are. It was crazy, right? Try to put it in the water. She screams throughout the house. So she boils the water then she gets back in because it's not cold anymore or something like that and she left her a voicemail right so as soon as she dies she thinks that she's dead right so she thinks that she's dead and she's like man i can't believe it. i ain't gonna never get to talk to you again right and then the phone plays oh lord the demon okay so the phone plays the voicemail that she played earlier and but it changes and it, this was all like okay i i i, I, I uh, uh, all right so I, i'm starting to like the writer of this movie bro because boom the voicemail plays and it sounds just like the voicemail that she listened to earlier but it like it changes to real time and she's like um she starts off the same way but it's like I'm burning in hell. Like, she you know, so she starts, it starts getting scary right there a little bit. I'm like, okay. So, boom. Oh, girl, wake up. Because at first, because the dude, the dude who I thought was black in the movie, when they originally put her in the bed after dying, she kind of fell out after the egg scene. She kind of fell out. They put her in the bed. He tries to close her eyes, and the eyes open. So, the dude is like... Y'all want to pray right quick? <laughs> but he didn't say it like that. But he like, can I say a prayer? You know what I'm saying? And then, so, after he said that, bruh, so she's like, she's not religious. And he like, it's just going to be a couple words. Like, <laughs> it ain't even, I don't even call it a prayer. I'm just finna go because the devil is, is, is working. How, how the old folks say in the fifth wall church, you hear me? The devil is working, man. Hold up. So, I just love that part, bro, because he like, let me go and pray. So anyway, she sit down beside her, and that's when the voicemail, you feel me? Because she like, she like, dang, I miss my sister already, you feel me? They were so cool, bro. But she was talking about how, bro, I called you two months ago, bro. I left you two voicemails. And that's when she was like, man, I just want to hear your voice again. And then the voicemail popped up out of nowhere. Then when she was like, I'm burning in, I'm burning in hell, like, something like that, right? Boom, phone crack. You know what I'm saying? Phone crack, she wake up. And then what she do after that? I don't know, but she basically started chasing people, you know what I'm saying? And somehow, like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she started fighting everybody. That's when she cut, cut, oh, girl, oh, that's when she cut her daughter like face and then tried to let me kiss it and then stuck her tongue out. She all bloody and stuff. I ain't going to lie. When she crawled out that bed and was on all fours, <laughs> she was still looking a little fine. 
But as the movie went on, them contacts and the blood in her mouth, it just was not attractive, okay? It was like, it was, even though she had very colorful contact, and it was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Maybe I just lust a little too much. But what I am going to say is, she was coming for them people, dog. And, but see, I ain't like that because she was walking slow. And I'm like, I don't want to be scared. Like, I don't want to see. I don't want to know that it's, in lack of a better term, that it's BS. Like, I want, I want to dream about this when I go to sleep. Like, Smile, the movie Smile, it makes you re like you look at, you can't look at smiles the same. Like I see, I had woke up, I was in my, I was in my sleep, dog, and I seen the same girl smiling in my dream, bro. Like I want to be that scared when I go see a movie. That's why I'm rating this movie a seven or a seven and a half, just because it's, it's pleasing to the eye. But like she walking with a piece of glass, like she so that's when she was like, "Mommy, what is happening to you?" And she like, "Mommy's with the maggots now." You know what I'm saying? So. Like, I don't know. It was just too funny. It's too predictable. But I ain't gonna lie. The thing about going to the movies, bro, is the commentary that you get from the people. Even if it's bad. Even if somebody... Because I remember somebody... God. Anyway. See, I gotta stop listening. But anyway. I remember a girl was, like, kicking my chair, bro. And I just moved, bro. Because it's like, first of all, I don't feel like yelling at your baby. I'm off of drugs. I ain't did drugs in a long time. Okay. But the old me... I don't know what it felt like. I probably had to stand up. But see, the new me know how to deal with problems. But I feel like you just should have been guiding your child. That should have been. It was a lot of children back there, right? And then, so, I'm kind of leaning back because I got my foot on something. So, I'm kind of pushed back. And that's okay with me. I felt somebody kind of bump my. I'm just saying how I. I'm just explaining my growth. That's it. Boy, that's. Oh, Lord. And that's what I meant to say. Boy, I love Asian women too, boy. Whew, Jesus. I'm finna go, I'm finna go put on my workout clothes. Jesus. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I thank God. But she knows she wrong. She knows she wrong. Anyway, what we was at, y'all? What we was at? What, we, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. We got two hours. I think I can go and run around and whoop-de-whoop. Have some girls look at your boy, cause you know, you know I came a long way. You know I came a long way, man. I came a long way, man. I lost my mama last year. I lost my brothers before that. Everybody I grew up in the house with done died, and it's just me. And that reminds me of a part that they said in the movie. Everybody is dead for Don in this house or something like that, right? When she, cause bro, in the, everybody in the in the apartment complex, they trying to. First of all, the earthquake that knocked out the stairs, the earthquake that knocked out the power, they the only ones without power. Uh, the only way they can get to the, the fire escape is through 82, and it's unoccupied. They got a big lock on it, so they trying to break through the lock the whole time. Bro, it is too much going on. That's just, I don't know. So I like, I be, I'm a good person, so I always try to make, but I'm gonna be honest, bro. I wasn't, I wasn't scared. I really wasn't, like, I wasn't scared. It was more like, but I, I can't say that I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was in that situation. I felt like I was right there with him. I felt like I was right there with him. And I feel like that's kind of good enough. But it really ain't for me. Like, I want to, I don't know, like, all that walking slow and getting on the floor and crawling. And let's see now, the book showed people basically, all right, these things were going to happen. You know, this girl was going to get hung like this or whatever. That's kind of what killed their mom and never brought her back. Or somebody was going to bleed out their eyes. But all of these people was going to come together to make a big-ass creature. And that's what I kind of liked about the story. Because they did come together and made a big-ass, like, basically, boom. A lot of people died. A lot of people got killed, right? So, when that happens, okay, when that happened, all these people got, like, and I, I'm sorry how that, I don't know. Because basically, Dan... He got stabbed by his sister, right? And his sister, like, she, you know what I'm saying? She came, like, hey, I told you to put the book up. As like, because they basically turned into zombies, even though they was demons, right? But they all killed each other and, like, so anyway, boom. Uh, the baby, like, Sarah, after she comes out of the water and she's crawling, she's like, don't let them get my babies. After that, that's when she turns her daughter into one. And then she goes in the house, in the kitchen. Her daughter, because they don't really know, like, the because the, it's just a cut. 
Cause she cut it with the tattoo gun. She gave her a cut on her cheek, bro. So boom, she cuts her cheek, okay? Cuts her cheek open, kisses her. Now she's a demon, right? She like, let me kiss it to make it better. So that happens. And then she now kills Dan. So she kills Dan, boom. Cause she comes in there with a knife and stabs her. Cause she's about to listen to, she's like, bro, it gotta be something on that vinyl that can make all this stop, right? And as you listen, the dude is explaining how the only way he made this stop, hold on, what the idea? The only way he made it stop, he eventually grinded their bodies all the way up, right? And I think they still were alive, bro. Like the demonic is like no end, it's no end. It's no end. Like the demonic goes around, the spirit goes around just killing everybody, bro. And that's one thing I ain't like. Like, so anyway, she's in there listening to it. And it's, and, and I felt the voice kind of take over me. Cause that's how it happens. Like you talking normal and then it's like, the only thing you can do is run, right? So she's in there listening to it. So it's kind of scary. I kind of write this seven and a half, eight. All right, so boom, she's in there listening to the vinyl, trying to find some way to stop it, right? And then the girl, cause it's a cat. It's like, so the dude with the shotgun, you feel me? That was kind of my favorite character, right? Because she always called her a groupie. So when everything, when all the lights went out and all the neighbors are out in the hallway, he's like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? And I laughed at that part because <laughs> it's just how he said it. Like, who is you? Like, where are you from? You know what I'm saying? So she's like, oh, I'm with I'm Woofy Woof's sister and all that. And he's like, oh, the groupie. And I was just, I was like, damn, bro. So it's like, I was like, okay. I like how they kind of wrote that. I kind of like how they wrote that. It was okay. It was funny. It was funny or whatever. So, <sighs> he was my favorite character because he like, bro, they busting the lock, right? And the dude, he like, just give us a second. You know, everybody's already on edge because he's like, bro, I'm finna go get my shotgun. We got bomb clad, pop the lock, all this hammer, arm and hammer stuff. This is not working for me. I'm finna get the shotgun and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lock. He told him to wait. And in my mind, I'm like, he going to shoot Sarah with all that. So, boom. Some way, they go in the, oh, they go into the hallway. She comes in the mind. Some way, they get into the hallway. Sarah gets out and mommy, mommy gets out there. <clears throat> this is before the daughter who got cut turns into a monster or whatever. So, they all in the house. And she ends up like she tries to fix her her cut and the cut freaking cracks over all her body, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, I don't know. As far as that, like what happens to the people, it's just very good to see. But I feel like the previews are way better than the, what that what the movie actually is. And I don't like that. Like when the previews are actually better than the movie, I feel like yeah, I kind of got cheated, in lack of a better term. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be some 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 hold on hold on anyway all right so it's supposed to be some like it's supposed to like i'm supposed to go to sleep scary bro like i when people i never seen the black swan but people say bro they had dreams about i want to have dreams about it you know what i'm saying especially if i'm coming to have a good time so anyway boom then they get trapped outside the dude with the gun man you know he he shoots but he started looking at the little boy who did or whatever but see, now that I'm thinking about it, he was looking at the veins because when you get bit or when you're about to turn, you get black veins. You know what I'm saying? You about to, yeah, you about to wake up. So, boom. They, uh, Dan gets killed because he's the one who started it all by reading the freaking book and playing the vinyls. Who has machines to play vinyls anyway? Like, you just got to be, <laughs> you got to be the people with the vinyls, right? You know what I'm saying? So, boom play the vinyls and that's what everything happens so when he got killed he's just looking at the baby girl like i'm sorry bro you know what i'm saying so in, in the beginning when you remember when i when i told you the girl had cut off the doll's head and named her stephanie this is actually what saved her because she was like stephanie gonna protect us and i'm like bro stephanie ain't gonna protect nothing so but stephanie had a big sharp point at the end that was gonna protect her because when the sister was coming at her boom she uh, held it up and it went straight to her mouth right so she choking on the she's dying she's dead and every time you kill the demon the demon dies right but it wakes back up and it, that's the part that just made me mad bro because all of them woke back up it was like no reason to kill them or i mean if you killed them because old girl sarah got a got a, a big big chunk of scissors shoved through her nose right and she was just stuck there for like to uh like five minutes bro and then she 
and woke back up later. And when she walked back up, boom, she they in the hallway trying to bust her. She finna, she finna shoot the lock, but she don't get to shoot the lock because what's the name is coming out in the hallway. You know what I'm saying? And cause I heard okay, well, well after she killed her sister through with the with Stephanie, they tied her up, put her in the bed, right? So she's playing the vinyl again. And as she plays the vinyl again, that's when the sister wakes up and starts to stab because she gives them a knife, like just in case I turn, just in case anybody else wakes up or whatever the case may be. Cause the old girl is outside. Oh my tell me why the baby girl tries to open the door. Tell me why the baby girl tries to open the door for her mom. Because she think her mom is well again. Because her mom was like, oh, dad's here. And I'm just like, she she looks way more smarter than that. So she opens the door, bro. The girl, she, boom, gets the hand around the neck. It's just so funny, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Even though she demonic, it's just like, it's like, I don't know. It's just like at every moment that they can, they kind of, they try to be comedic. I think comedic. I don't know what the word is. But anyway, at every moment they can, they try to just add some, you know what I'm saying, a little funny stuff here and there. So, boom. Okay, I'm not doing a good job, but it's, it's kind of funny, so I'm not tripping. So, boom. All right, we get to the point where, hold on, because we finna get copyrighted, okay, and we ain't finna do that. We finna live our life without any copyrights, because <laughs> we already got two for them Kevin Gates uh, uh, reaction videos that I posted way, way back in the day, and I just had to make sure that I got, you know what I'm saying, some of that, and I'm finna go jog, bro, because I'm seeing people jogging, I just want to work out my lungs. That's just how I'm rocking the day, that's how I'm living. So, boom, all right, we get to the point where, bro, everybody pretty much dead except for her sister, the one that she's called a groupie. We're going to call her a groupie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is a part where she's like, the demon is like, you fucking groovy bitch, bitch. And she's like, I'm not a groovy. <laughs> bro. And I'm like, bro, that's what made me rate the fucking movie of fucking seven. I mean, okay, I gotta stop cursing. But that's what made me rate the movie of seven because I just feel like, <sighs> like, like the previews is just way better than the movie I just didn't expect. It to not be this like it wasn't that scary right am i tripping like i might be tripping because it really wasn't that scary like but it was definitely a good watch if you with your girl and you got a scary girlfriend because you know a lot of girls just be jumping like and i ain't gonna lie hold on what it was a movie i was watching bro and i was jumping bro i ain't gonna lie matter of fact i think it was a uh, nah bro i don't know i definitely definitely wasn't smile smile was just weird because when you smile in the mirror, you can see, like, because smiles are just like, God damn. I'm finna go jogging, y'all. I'm finna go jogging. I got to go jogging. Woo, Lord. Y'all don't understand, because y'all don't, y'all, women don't have the same thing that men have between the scenes, okay? <laughs> between the scenes, man. Woo, all right, well, what were we doing? Let's hurry up and wrap this up. Basically, at the end, bro. They all band together cause Woo Lord. I'm finna wrap this up. Cause they almost fell into the sewer. And my life would have just been I would have stopped doing reaction video. I'll be like, but I ain't going nowhere. It's just gonna hurt my life. So anyway, boom. We get to the point where basically they band together into a big cause I got I don't wanna want explain the whole movie anyway. I kinda was all everywhere. You know, if you bear with me through this video, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, you made it this far, bro. But anyway, boom. So, they made it to the big eight-person duo. And now, they done got out. The, okay, boom. They done got in the car, bro. They opened the gate with the buzzer. You know what I'm saying? Because you think that the buzzer is not going to work because it's not been working this whole movie or whatever. But they finally get stuck on a rock. Then the person, the eight-person figure demon comes outside. Boom, they come see, and this is the part I didn't like because everybody knows if you chase a person around the car, you're gonna be able to look at look down at their feet, you're gonna be able to look where they go. And boom, you just like it just took them too long to find each other. Or and when they finally got a chance to go outside, bro, tell me why. When they go to the gate, because the gate finally goes to red and starts to come back down to lock the parking garage, they make a run for it, and the little girl, they drag the little girl back into it. They had too much time to kill the little girl because the little girl cut Stephanie's head off or whatever and put it on a staff, called her Stephanie. You know what I'm saying? So they were about to chop her head off with a chainsaw. She was just like, the demon was just like, I just want your head, little girl. On. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. R.I.P. to the mama. R.I.P. to the mama. This is... 
uh, whoever wrote it get on my nerves because y'all just had to y'all like it couldn't have been like it, it couldn't have been a way to reverse that so anyway boom they are it's, for some reason in the parking garage it's like a tree cutter but like one of the ones where you throw the wood and then it, it, it grinds the wood up and spits the wood out one of those so they throw her she tries to escape from there they throw her like in the back of there but it's a it's a place where i guess all the wood chips go or whatever and i thought that but they had too much time to do it but by the time you know what i'm saying that they was finna chop her head up on she up there with the shotgun bow you know what i'm saying they start chasing her they cut on the grinder she falls backwards she grabs they grab her legs you know what i'm saying man i don't even want to explain it i don't even want to explain it you know what i'm saying because i feel like I done told too much of the movie, and I'm finna hopefully go jog and see some fine women and be out here fine as wine. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody like it. You know what I'm mean? saying? I know somebody like it. You know what I mean? Baby? Somebody. Fry yourself hurt. Free yourself hurt. You got my word. I'm gonna be right there. Uh, for what you're for, for better or worse, I'm gonna be right there. And I know you see me watching. Yeah, I ain't got no other option. So, anyway, if you enjoyed all that, I just want to say, basically, I reviewed the movie seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's a good movie to watch with your people, but it's corny. I said it, no disrespect. I didn't like, like, it just looks like they just wrapped it up, right? Like, it's stupid. I don't like how the boy, I mean, honestly, it made me feel something, right? It makes me feel some. I'm gonna remember what Evil Dead inside. I'm gonna be telling everybody about it. It was a good movie, so I'm gonna go end it, bro. We had 46 minutes. I did good just talking my butt off. Just know that they got out the way, but man, I don't want. I was told most of the movie. You know what I'm saying? For the ending, you gotta watch. You gotta pray, live for Christ every day. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta go and watch. Watch what's going on, man. I'm gonna try to make it home and give me a little jog in. All right, man, peace and love at war, man. Peace and love, peace and love. Man, go love your, you know what I'm saying, hug your loved ones, man. I lost my mom, bro. Oh, God, please get that time in with your mom. Take your mom out. Go do fun stuff with your mom. Go build businesses with your mom. Because I, I wish I would have turned up with my mama, bro. And I didn't, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I hate about my life and myself. And um, you got a chance to do that, especially if you got a chance to do that, do your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? At any chance. I know, uh, you know, mamas get annoying. We get annoying to them. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why we have babies anyway. But um, peace and love, man. I'm out, man. I'm out. But uh, I love that. Uh, I love that. Uh, I love the relationship that they all have with each other. Peace and love. We out.